As we reflect and celebrate Family Day, one group hopes to keep valuable stories alive, especially those of our immigrant grandmothers. We're joined now by Shivana and Shirley Ramjeet. So nice to have you both here and to speak with both of you. There's something called the Grandmother Project, which you're a part of, which you're both a part of. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, so the Grandmother Project is a nonprofit organization based in Senegal, Africa, um, and they empower grandmothers to help with difficult decisions made in the community. Um, and we launched a campaign, My Grandmother Taught Me, through our Centennial PR program, and we just helped them with their social media, and we made a podcast. We featured um, our international grandmothers on the podcast, and that's how me and my lovely grandmother got involved with the project. Why did you both want to get involved with this? Um, so it really had a special sp uh, part in my heart because I feel like grandmothers are so important to the heritage and the culture, and I just feel like it was such a great opportunity to get involved. And really, grandmothers have a hand in raising the children or the grandchildren. I know I didn't get a chance to meet any of my grandparents. They passed away before I was born. But yeah. now my mother is a grandmother. And I get to see the impact that she has on my son. And that's such a cherished bond to have. What was the bond between you two like? Um, so yeah. my, my grandmother helped raise me when I was a kid. Um, she took care of five of us at one point in time. Do you have anything to add about that, Grandma? Yes, I take them to school. I bring them home. I see they get the meal in time. Then I take them back. Four times I had to walk the road to take them and bring them back from school. <laughs> That's incredible. Basically, you raised not only your children, yes. but also five grandchildren. And you were patient with all of them? All of them, all of them, very patient. I never yell at them. If they do something, I say, come, baby, come. I say, don't, don't, don't go back and do that again. OK, baby, yes, grandma, yes, grandma. I said, don't go back and do it again. <laughs> How has your relationship grown yes. and changed because of, because of this project? Right. I think it's brought us actually closer. Um, it's really, really made me f uh, find the importance of grandmothers. I uh, enhanced our relationship a lot because before I do, I did have a really strong relationship with my grandmother. But after working with this grandmother um, project and seeing the importance of the grandmother's role in Senegal, it really made me cherish my grandmother even more. Uh, we spoke about how your grandmother had a hand in raising you. How has your grandmother impacted your life? She's really taught me the importance of family and education. She's always instilled that in all of the grandchildren. Um, and she's really had that, um, like, a good opinion in my life always. She's always helped me um, through difficult decisions as well. So I really look up to my grandmother. Um, at the almost age of 90 years old, she's still going strong. She's very independent. And that's something I aspire to be when I grow up. First of all, you look amazing, and you are uh, such a such a, a beacon of sun <laughs> coming into this newsroom. You are you are shining today, and Thank being you. next to your granddaughter as well, it must mean so much for you to sh to share in this moment together as well. Thank you so much. Yes. yes. Uh, tell me about um, your bond together, and what was it like growing up with with a grandmother that had such a presence in your life? It was honestly amazing. I know a lot of people are, are don't have that opportunity, but being able to learn from her, learn a lot about our heritage and our culture and where we come from, I think it's so important to be able to have those important values so I can also teach my children eventually when I have them. Um, our relationship is great. We spend a lot of time together. I spend a lot of time in the kitchen learning from grandma on how to cook good meals or in her garden. She loves to garden and she has an amazing green thumb. She grows everything in her garden. Um, yeah. So I spend a lot of time there with her as well. Yeah. What do you want people to take away from this grandmother project? I want them to understand the importance of the grandmother um, and they can also tune into our podcast and they can also go onto our social media page and tell us things that they cherish about their grandmother using the hashtag my grandmother taught me. Thank you so much to both of you for sharing in this family day together and being with one another as well. Thank you and have a wonderful family day together. Thank you. 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 Thank you.